Hey guys, it's Eric with another episode of Enchanted Minds. Today we're going over the character creation of a, gr a great weapon fighter. So we're going to go over which races are the best and also which ability scores are going to suit the build that you're looking for. So the great weapon fighter, his, his stats aren't easy to pinpoint which one would be the best per se. He's got uh, four good ones, um, none of which are what we call double dips. So if you've seen our other videos, we're looking for stats that are going to allow us to uh, get multiple bonuses to our damage from one stat and the, the great weapon fighter does not have many. He's got one and it's charisma and that's not even one of his uh, recommended stats but it does give the companion stat bonus that we love so much it boosts our companion stats which will boost our stats if we're using the bonding rune stones or the augments like we strongly recommend that you do um, and you'll certainly need to do at higher level I'd say 60 plus um, so the Charisma com Companion Stat Bonus, also Combat Advantage Damage Bonus, which guys, you're always probably going to have that when you're in a dungeon if you're in the right spot. More often than not, you will have Combat Advantage Damage Bonus when you're working with a team. Uh, not so much when you're soloing, but you will when it matters the most. So Charisma's good, guys. Uh, strength is going to give you a damage bonus so just the base damage bonus um, constitution is is pretty nice guys it gives you resistance ignored and bonus hit points which for a great weapon fighter the bonus hit points are super nice um, because you're up there taking some hits next to the tank Dexterity is going to give us critical chance uh, increase, so that's nice. Also some deflect, um, so critical uh, and deflect there for dexterity, that's not bad either, guys. So you can see pretty pretty spread out in, in stats that will benefit a great weapon fighter, which is going to make the options for your race selection broader than any other uh class for the most part so um obviously guys dragonborn if you guys have it it's going to be a viable option for the great weapon fighter it's going to allow you to put stats uh wherever you want and, and the four that will benefit them the most also going to give you bonus to your your power and your defense both primary stats down the road for the great weapon fighter so uh, Dragonborn certainly an elite option for this DPS class um, in addition to that guys uh, the half orc is going to be a great option you can see he's got plus two to dexterity and either plus two to constitution or strength so there's some flexibility here um, if your lower gear score the constitution is going to be very nice with the resistance ignored and the hit points. Uh, the strength guys, very nice as well with the, ba the, the bonus to the base damage. Also very nice about the half orc, you see furious assault. Guys, your critical severity is 5% higher than that of other races causing you to deal more damage whenever you deliver a critical strike. This is pretty huge. If you've played DPS characters in this game before, you know that this is a pretty darn good racial ability. Also, Swift Charge, you gain a 10% bonus to run speed for 3 seconds whenever you enter combat. This effect can only occur once every 20 seconds so this is super nice guys because you're a melee character you need to get in there and and, and get your damage uh get your damage going close combat so getting in there quicker will allow you to do more damage in a shorter period of time so the half orc very strong selection moving on the dwarf is a solid selection as well 
for Grey Weapon Fighter. You can see we get plus two to, to Constitution and plus two to Strength. The Wisdom's not so good, but the Strength, very, very good. So plus two Constitution, plus two Strength. And you can see the Racial Abilities. Stand your ground. You have a 20% increased resistance to effects that knock and push you. So this is super nice, guys. Uh, as you're up there, a lot of these mobs have a lot of things that are going to knock you down, push you around. So this is very, very nice. Also, Cast Iron Stomach. You have a 10% increase damage resistance to damage over time effects. This can come in handy in higher level dungeons like Famebreaker Island. Making the Dwarf a viable option for the Great Weapon Fighter. Moving on guys, there's a lot, a lot of races for the Great Weapon Fighter. So the Halfling is a great selection as well. You can see the ability scores plus two to Dexterity and your choice of either plus two Charisma or plus two constitution and if you guys have watched our other character creation videos you know I'm a huge fan of the charisma making the halfling uh, a, a favorite choice of mine because it offers that uh, charisma in addition to the dexterity you can see nimble reaction your small stature and quick movements give you a deflection chance three percent higher than that of other races. So this is quite nice. You're up there close combat. Also, it has bold. Your fearless nature increases your resistance to control effects by 10%. This is super nice also, guys. Making the halfling a solid option as well. You can see the half elf is in play as a great weapon fighter. The plus two to constitution and plus two to charisma. You can see you're also going to get plus one to a non-class ability score, automatically determined by your class. And also knack for success, you're naturally better at many facets of life. Your deflect chance, critical severity, and gold bonus are 1% higher than that of other races. This is pretty fair, uh, this knack of success, so not bad for the half elf. The next option, guys, would be the Tiefling. Plus two to Charisma and plus two Constitution. So those are both very nice for the Great Weapon Fighter. Also, guys, Blood Hunt. You deal an additional 5% damage to targets below half health. This is huge, guys. Very huge. So we're getting Charisma, we're getting Constitution. We're getting the damage bonus. In addition to that, guys, Infernal Wrath. When you receive damage, you have a 10% chance to apply Infernal Wrath to your attacker for five seconds. This effect reduces the target's power by 5%. This is nice. You will be taking damage as a melee character who's not entering stealth. Um, you're, you're in there doing damage. You're not trying to hide that. So you will take damage when you're doing dungeons this infernal wrath will proc making the tiefling an all-around great option for great weapon fighter moving on guys the final option here would be the drow you can see plus two dexterity plus two charisma and his racial ability dark fire when attacking a foe you have a five percent chance to apply dark fire for four seconds this effect reduces the target's defense by 10%. Guys, this is huge. This is a very, very strong buff given to you just for being a certain race. So this, uh, also the halfling's damage, and also the half-orc's ability to deal critical severity. Those are all very nice, guys. Um, and then you have the, the dwarf, you have the halfling as an option um, for survivability sakes, the half elf kind of all around, you're getting severity, you're getting deflex, so a lot of good options guys for the great weapon fighter and, and with that we will now go to the rolling screen give you an idea of how the roll should look 
when you're rolling for your great weapon fighter. So you can see I went drow with this option. We'd want the dexterity and the charisma. And we're going to want to get all the points into um, something like this, guys. You see, we don't we, we want as much points as we can into charisma and the least amount of points as possible into intelligence and wisdom. And the reason we're trying to get as much as possible here in Charisma early on, you can see because it's not a main stat, it's not considered a main stat by the game, it's not giving us the option to get it too high. But luckily for us, Strength, Constitution, and Dexterity all serve us very well. Um, so something like this is probably going to be preferred. Um, we're getting 12 base Charisma. From here, I would probably put a point into Charisma every time. Um, I mean, and, and really, it, 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 any way you want to do a great weapon fighter is, is going to be okay. Because the strength is good, the constitution is good, the dexterity is good. Um, and, and the constitution, you know, gearing towards having uh, that as the main stat is not a bad idea. Because of the bonus hit points. So... You really can't go wrong with a great weapon fighter, guys. I hope this video is helpful for you when building your great weapon fighter. If you have any questions about it, comment down below. If you need help in-game on the PS4 platform, also comment down below, guys. I'm super active on the comment sections. Outside of that, I'll ask you to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, guys. And as always... May the drops be ever in your favor. Eric out.